Good evening, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Just making sure I don't get road killed and all that. But you know the drill by now. Time for another video. Now, what do we talk about today? Ah, yes, now I know what I want to talk about. More about Trump, but this time, different angle. The left-leaning NPCs. Because isn't it funny how the left wing always accuses the supposed far right of being the violent racists and fascists. Yet when push comes to shove, who are the ones getting violent? Who are the ones with the hateful rhetoric? Who are the ones inciting the hatred? That would of course, of course rather, be the left wing media and the NPCs in the left wing. Now obviously I've been using the term NPC a lot. It's a bit of a gamer reference more than anything. So if anybody doesn't know what it means, it basically stands for non-player character. Essentially, they're not going to play any real part of changing our world for the better. And while I'm not one for moral grandstanding and taking the moral high ground, the thing is, you have to bear this in mind. The lefties are always preaching they're the be kind group, that they're the peaceful ones, while the supposed far right are the violent ones. Yet, Joe Biden was the one who said we should put Donald Trump in the bullseye, as if that isn't a more descriptive reference towards wishing someone dead. And of course, he tried to then push it off as like, I made a mistake. <laughs> yeah, no. A mistake would be, oh shit, I've left my phone at home. Or I left my car keys. Oh, sorry, I left my house keys rather in the house and I forgot to bring them with me. A mistake would be, I don't know, accidentally burning your dinner or something like that. A mistake does not involve purposely and maliciously making statements that you basically wish harm upon your opponent. Or what about the doctor, Karen Pinder, who basically said, damn, tough luck or bad luck in regards to missing Donald Trump? And here's the thing, there are a lot of left-wing NPCs, other than doctors and all that, who even went out of their way to make TikToks and basically lambast the shooter, though not in the conventional way that somebody like myself would. No, they decided to lambast the attacker for missing Donald Trump. And I am going to do something a little unorthodox now which is, I am going to correct them, but let me be absolutely clear on this as a disclaimer. I am not advocating what this shooter has done, Thomas Matthew Crooks. I am not glorifying this. I hate everything that fucker tried to do. But I am going to correct those NPCs in the left. Technically, Matthew Crooks wouldn't have missed if he actually got his first shot on target. And he was on target. The trouble was, he was just not expecting Trump to turn his head at the last moment. Maybe that's what Karen Pinder meant by bad luck. Because she knew damn well it was down to a split second. But it's funny when you see... Well, actually, no. It's not even fucking funny. When you see the number of NPCs in the left who are... Some of them are screaming, You fucking missed! Or some shit like that saying you had eight shots and you only got one ear or how one person said someone finally had the balls to shoot Trump and they missed and I've already made my correction and as I said I still condemn that motherfucker to this day and always will the so-called be kind group by the way maybe I should be kind of the pavement start walking on it Stop making cracks in the middle of it. Because <laughs> after all, I'm quite a heavy bloke. Anyway, the point is, these people who are preaching to be kind, the NPCs who are going out of their way to try and basically cover their tracks, only make themselves look more insidious and two-faced with each passing second. The mere idea, let alone the possibility, that these so-called be kind people can even suggest being kind after wishing death upon someone 
inciting violence against someone and inciting people to commit criminal activity, it's staggering that these people still think that they can try and play the compassion card. Well, I'll tell you now, those lefty NPCs will not get a single drop of compassion from me. There are figures out in the, the world that I dislike, that I'm sure a lot of ordinary people despise. I can name quite a few of them right now. Let's start with the most obvious one, Tony the Liar Blair. Or is it Tony the War Criminal Blair? I can't, I can't make up my mind on that one. You know, the guy who basically sent hundreds if not thousands of soldiers to their deaths on a false pretense, war to Iraq because of the potential WMD threat that was never there. What about Sadiq Khan? An NPC of an Islamic mayor who basically wants to turn London into Londonistan. Or what about David Lammy? The guy who was making horrific comments about Donald Trump and talking mad shit about Brexit voters. Or was that Femi? I can't remember. But anyway, these people go out of their way to spread hatred when it's merely projection. They go out of their way to talk shit about Trump and these people are some of the most hated figures that you can think of. Obviously the war criminal for obvious reasons. He should hang, quite frankly, but he should hang by being basically put through a trial by jury and basically found guilty of war crimes and hanged from the neck, or hung from the neck rather, until he's dead. But I don't go actively out of my way to say he should be shot, he should be stabbed, he should be killed. Legal processes for him. He's about the closest you'll ever get to me saying, wishing I'd death upon someone. And as much as the vast majority of the British public hate that absolute traitor, that absolute snake that is Sadiq Khan, the vast majority of us do not, or should not, wish death upon Sadiq. That's the thing. We people on the right have something very important to us called a moral compass, which mine is always spinning because of the amount of crazy shit I do. Anyway, it, even then, a lot of us have that moral compass that usually points north and tells us we should not be wishing death upon people, that we should be not that we should not be wishing harm upon other people. And I'd like to think our parents raised us better than that. You know, having standards, having principles, and all that shit. Whereas the lefty NPCs do not have that. And they will wish death upon anybody who does not conspire and conform to the left-wing narrative. But of course the mainstream media won't tell you this. You know the drill, folks, cause say it with me, it doesn't suit the narrative. But then of course they don't want to admit that they're the violent mob that they seek to project their problems onto us with. These people are delusional, in denial, and absolutely dangerous. All of them. All of those NPCs going out of their way, doing post-Trump celebrations of the attempted assassination, what could have been the, the successful assassination of Donald Trump, they're sitting there celebrating. I'll tell you one thing. Even if Sadiq Khan got a bullet between his brains, and no, I'm not advocating for it, but even if Sadiq Khan got a bullet between the eyes, I would not be celebrating his death. I would be thinking more along the lines of, what fucking nut job did it this time? Now, of course, I think it would be pretty obvious what kind of nut job would do it. It certainly wouldn't be a lefty NPC, but what I do know, is that we, on the right, or far right, if you want to go that far, if you want to be one of those NPCs, we'd be calling them out, regardless. Which, speaking of people like that, I forgot to mention about what's-his-face. Um, Kyle Clifford, is it? You know, the 
the guy who went out of his way to attack John Hunt's family. He's part of the BBC. His whole family was murdered by this scumbag ha holding a crossbow. And basically, now there's this rant about, oh, crossbows should now have stricter laws. Here's the thing. And this is what people need to remember, because they're also doing this with gun laws in America. <clears throat> you can put as many gun laws or as many crossbow laws out there as you want. But the thing is, it's not going to make a shit's worth of difference. The only people you're going to hurt by doing that are the people who want to use those things with innocent purposes. I don't know, maybe going out into the yard and shooting targets, or if they want to go out into the forest and, I don't know, pop some shots at trees or something. You're only going to be hurting the people who use it innocently or the people who want it for defensive purposes. If a criminal or a potential criminal wants to get a weapon, he's going to get a hold of the weapon, legally or otherwise. That's the thing. But that is, of, of course, something the mainstream media do not want to tell us about because they know damn well what I'm speaking right now is the truth. Laws won't help stop the criminals, it'll hurt the people who are trying to defend themselves from said criminals. It will stop people from being able to do something they enjoy, even if it is just shooting a bolt or a bullet at a paper target or something. But I'll tell you now, I'll condemn Carl Clifford for this atrocious attack on the BBC's fam uh, family members. Now, let me be clear, I'm not a big fan of the BBC at all. I think some of the shit they've gotten into, namely Jimmy Savile and what have you, needs no introduction. So I am far from a fan of the BBC. But you know what? That bloke did not deserve to lose his fucking family. And I'm sure at least 90%, if not 99%, if not 100% of the people who watch this channel will agree with me on this much, that any kind of attack on any kind of person's family no matter who they're associated with, is totally unacceptable. The only time I'd make even the slightest exception of that is if there was a terrorist, and that terrorist was about to do something like, I don't know, blow himself up and kill a load of people with him, or was about to pull out a knife or a gun and try and attack people. That is then maybe the only exception you could possibly justify going after people with violence with. And even then, as I said, it would be like an absolute last resort. I think these lefties need to be punished for the fact that they have tried to si uh, silence, I mean celebrate, the attempted assassination of Donald Trump. I think the people who wished death upon him, or incited hatred and violence against him, should also be heavily punished. I think a hefty jail sentence would do them a world of good to teach them a lesson. And here's the thing, the difference between Hoodlum and me is quite obvious. Anyway, the difference between what they're doing and what we're doing, I really hate this thing, is they've been calling for it. They have been actively calling for violence against Trump. We've been calling for resignations. We've been calling for people to be fired or sacked or whatever from their jobs, mainly because we're not doing it out of maliciousness like they are. We're doing it because we believe the people in those jobs are doing a fundamentally poor job or are not, or not upholding the standards that we, the British people, would expect of these people in such roles. For example, Sadiq Khan, who has been a complete failure as a London mayor. And it's not because he's Muslim, it's because he's a crap fucking mayor. The left are constantly calling for violence and death upon people just because they don't agree with their views. Or just because orange man bad. Or some other pathetic, petty, unjustifiable excuse to want somebody hurt or killed. Which is, again, something the mainstream media are very reluctant to tell us. When we call for resignations and firings, as said, it is purely because we see the people in those jobs are not fit for purpose. Whereas they are doing the stuff they're doing now because they hate our guts 
and maliciously want harm done to us. I will always say that it is wrong to call for violence, whether you're on the right side of politics, the left side of politics, or are completely neutral in the side of politics. Because what it comes down to is not left or right, it comes down to what is right and what is wrong. And it's fundamentally wrong, at least in my humble opinion, that people are calling for violence or death on Trump. That's what it comes down to. And nobody is going to convince me otherwise. Nobody is going to sit here and tell me, whether it's on this bus, in the streets, over the phone, or even by email, that what I'm thinking is wrong, because it's fundamentally not true. These people on the left have made egregious mistakes and have broken the law on so many occasions, wishing death upon people, wishing harm on other people. And I think at this point, we need to take out the trash, metaphorically speaking. We need to put these people in jail with hefty fines and hefty sentences to teach them that you cannot go out of your way to wish death or harm upon other people. I guarantee you, if we flip the script and I said, oh, well, Sadiq Khan should be shot and killed, I guarantee you I'd have police kicking my door down, and quite rightly so, because what I'd be doing is wishing death upon people, and that is wholly unacceptable. But that's the thing. It seems like one rule for one group of people and another rule for everyone else, two-tier policing at its finest. I think it's about time these people got taught a harsh lesson and I think jail and a hefty fine will do just that. If they get given that, oh, they'll think very quickly that they shouldn't be doing this. They'll very quickly change their tune. Will we see people like Sadiq Khan change their tune on things like you, Les? Probably not. Will we see NPCs on the left change their tune about wishing violence and death upon people? Well, that is... That remains to be seen. But I think a good, a good start to that would be to implement some heavy-handed punishments for anybody who is wishing harm or death on any person, let alone political figure. If you're actively going out of your way to wish harm against a president slash former president, it should be even worse, because then you're wishing death upon someone with significant power. Like I said, this is not a matter of left or right. This is a matter of what's right and what is wrong. And I can tell you, free of charge, that what they are doing on the left is completely and utterly indefensible and reprehensible. And we need to punish that. We need to punish people who are encouraging others to break the law. And I think it also includes the mainstream media as well. The mainstream media who constantly push this narrative against people they don't like. Nigel Farage, Tommy Robinson, Donald Trump, Lawrence Fox, to some lesser extent, Dan Wooten. I think these people need to be punished for going out of their way to do malicious harm to some of these people. It's only then they may actually take the hint that the British people do not want them to continue with their continued malicious bias and rhetoric against ordinary people or political figures. That is why I say we need to take out the trash and put it in the dumpster of history and make sure that these people are taught that harsh lesson that everyone should be held accountable for everything they say.